everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you are all doing very well if you are new here then my name is becky and it's lovely to meet you today i am joined by leo me and why are you joining me today because we are unboxing we've had a delivery haven't we yeah and we have a air purifier to yeah, unbox. Yeah, they're really, I've never seen one before, but they must be good. This actually arrived a few days ago, and it's been on my dining table, and I've been waiting to get the chance to film this. Yeah. Um, so we can try it out. And you've been desperate, haven't you, yeah. to unbox it. Every day, Leo's been saying to me, can we open it now? And I keep saying to him, I just need to film the unboxing, so we need to wait till we've got a little bit of time. So, it is from the company. I'm hoping I'm going to pronounce this correct. Levoit. Um, and it's the Vital 100S Smart Air Purifier. Now, yeah, they kindly reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in reviewing this on my channel. And I jumped to the chance because I've been interested in um, looking for an air purifier for a while. Um, but yeah, I've never really invested in one. My brother actually, I think, used to have, or still does have, an air purifier. And he always says how good they are. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going. So this says, um, number one selling air purifier brand in the US, 2019 to 2022. Um, and when they reached out to me, I looked into it online. <coughs> my voice keeps going. I looked into it online and it had so many good it's reviews. Probably very good. Um, and I'm actually really impressed that it's not too big. I was yeah. worried that it was going to be like gigantic. Like massive. Yeah. Um, it's but, actually a little box. But it seems like a really good size. And I don't know if it says on here. So on the box it says three stage filtration. So you've got a washable pre-filter, which caps, captures dust, lint, fibres, hair and pet fur and helps protect the lifespan of the main filter. So that'd be good because we have Cassie yeah. the cat, don't we? 16 years old. She is 16 now. She's very old. Nearly 17. Um, then the main filter traps airborne particles, including fine dust, smoke particles, pollen and pet dander. So again, that's good because I really suffer with hay fever. Um, so yeah, collecting the pollen is going to be perfect. And it says activated carbon filter filters um, volatile organic compounds mm -hmm. and helps neutralize smoke fumes and household odors from food cigarettes and pets um so yeah sounds like it's gonna be really good for pet odors pet fur dust allergies so um leo actually suffers with asthma as well, as well. so hopefully this will be really good for you um, if it's taken all of those things out of the air um i think there is an app you can get um to control this so you can control it on the system or you can get an app and then you can set it to different things there is a sleep mode right let's undo it you may have to let me just cut this side that's hard to get out i don't know if we need to put any of the filters in let me just move you so you can see it Back. I don't know if you. No, I can move it like over there. Oh, well. It's alright, we can lift that up. So. Oh, that's already right. made! So if I lift this up, Leo, can you I'll take the box, the box off? Right, we need to see what else is in there. Can you Are pass these instructions? Me? Yeah, so that looks like. So this is the quick start guide. We have. Okay, so this shows you how to set like up the wire. filter. So it looks like we need to take some packaging, I think, we off have the to filter. Wire that. The then you've got it. the yeah the plug. Anything else in now? Is there thumb? Yeah. Right. Pop that in the box then. So this is actually a really nice looking unit. And look, look at the size of it. I it's don't know why. Perfect. Yeah, I thought it was going to be yeah, quite big. Like but I think I for the like job that, that it so does, it's pretty good. That this is actually a really good size, and I love the black and white. Let me just take off. It matches our like theme of the house. Yeah. Black and white. Right, let's take off the packaging. It's actually really light. I don't know why. I thought it was going to be really heavy as well. So I think we may have to... Do we need to take any packaging off the filter? I have no idea. 
um, we may just have to double check it says on here click start and then so on the top I'm hoping you can see you've got the touch panel controls here um, so you've got different fan speeds automatic um, as we use this obviously I will talk about them a bit more um, but there is a sleep mode which makes it quieter and then I think once you turn it on um, it gives you a colour guide here to how good the air quality is. You've got a timer, two hours, four hours, eight hours. Um, but yeah, we're going to all of that a bit more when we plug it in. So, this is the plug. That's the plug. Oh yeah, see, look, it tells us here. Yeah. You know, look. So we've got to take the packaging off the filter. So, let me pop it on the floor to do this. I think... We just need to, I'm just going to move the camera so you can see what we're doing. So just come down here so you can hopefully see it. So I think we need to unclip this front bit, which comes off nice and easy. Yeah, and then the, this is the washable filter. Um, so yeah, you can just wash that under the tap. Right, this is the one that we need to take the packaging off. So I yep. think this again just pulls out. And this is your big filter. Big filter? Yeah. I imagine you can probably get replacements of these. Can you help me? There we go. Good job. Right, so that's our big filter. So let's can you show them. Have a look at the back. Yeah. There's little right. things in there. Let's see what it says. So this is, uh, it says, captures at least 99.97% of 0 0.3 micron airborne particles. High efficiency activated carbon filter reduces smoke, odours and fumes. So just going to pop it all back in now. So that just slots back in like that. Easy. And then the washable filter should just get back in. I'm actually really impressed with how easy this is to kind of take the filter out if you wanted to wash it and pop it back in. Um, and then this, yeah, it's that way. should just clip them back onto that. So yeah, super easy. So now we need the plug um, okay. so we can turn it on. So I'm just going to move the camera, we'll plug it in and I will show you the display when it's on. So, just brought it upstairs and plugged it in on the landing. And of course, Miss Cassie the cat has come to see what's going on, wondering what's by her scratch post. So, just plugged it in. I'm loving the look of it. I just think, yeah, I think it's such a nice design. There's no handles on it to move it around, but you do have these kind of inset bits on the side. So, I kind of use that to carry it. So, it's really light. So, I'm just going to press the on button. Okay, we get this blue light. So there is a Wi-Fi button here um, when you connect to the app. So I am going to download the app in a minute and have a look on that. I will show you a clip of what the app is like. So this is the auto button, but I'm just going to put it onto the fan. So this is on the fastest fan. I don't know if it's picking up the noise. Obviously, you can hear it, but it's not like super loud. You can turn it down. So that's on the first setting. That's super quiet. Up to the next setting. Obviously it gets louder the faster the fan is going. And then here, yeah, so you can really hear that fan kick in now. Here you have your timer, so you've got two hours, four hours, eight hours. You can also control that all on the app on the phone. Here, I think, turns all the lights off the control if you don't want them on, say, at night or in the day. And I think um, this ring changes colour um, on the quality of the air. Um, but again, I'm going to look into all of that and when I do the app. And then here you've got sleep mode. So look how quiet that's gone. So it's still running really low, but all the lights have gone out. 
on sleep mode. So while you're sleeping, you can have this going in the bedroom. It's going to purify all the air to give you that really good night's sleep. Um, but yeah, it's not going to wake you up. So I'm loving that setting. But yeah, so that is that. So I'm going to use this tonight um, and I will let you know my thoughts on it. So I'm going to leave this going on my landing. Um, and then I think I'm going to move it into the bedroom this evening on sleep mode. And I'll let you know how we get on with it. I think Miss Cassie is enjoying it. Hopefully, yeah, I think on the app you can control the pet settings a bit more that you can obviously do on the controls here. So yeah, I'm going to go and download the app and I will insert some clips and let you know um, what I think of it, how easy it is to use, how easy it is to connect it. But yeah, really impressed with it so far. So just been having a quick look through the manual just to kind of familiarise myself with it. Um, one thing I didn't mention earlier, it does have a light which tells you when you need to check the filter. So that's really good. Um, and the air quality indicator, which I was saying about the colour on it, I've actually just found where it says which colour is what. So blue is actually very good. Um, so that means the air upstairs is already really good quality. Um, so that's really good to know. Green is good, orange is moderate and then red is bad. Um, so yeah, you can keep an eye on um, what the air quality is like. So I'm really happy to know that it started out on blue. Obviously, I'll keep an eye out on it, try it in a few different rooms, see if it changes. Um, but yeah, I was really impressed with that. It also says in here about um, the app. So on here, it tells you about the app, which I'm just in the middle of downloading on my phone. I'm going to get that set up. But it also says you can... Um, connect it to Amazon Alexa or Google Assist. Um, so yeah, really good feature. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to being able to kind of see it all on your phone, set it for different times. Um, and it also says in here about, um, so it tells you how to change it, um, but it also tells you how and when to change the filter. I don't know if I can manage to find it now. I was just having a look. So it says that you need to clean the pre-filter every two to four weeks. Um, and that looks super easy to get out um, wash. And then the main filter, it says every nine to 12 months, which I think is really good. Um, so yeah, it's not like you need to be replacing them every few months. So yeah, interesting to see how we go. So I've just set up the air purifier onto the app. It's really easy to do. You literally just had to hold down the power button for five seconds for it to connect. You can then see lots of information on here. So for example, here it's showing you the filter life is at 100% still. Um, and there is an option there to click to buy another filter. You can see um, a chart of the indoor air quality. Um, obviously I've literally just connected it and turned it on so I don't have any data yet and then as you go down there's a few other options you can turn it on and off through the app um, and you can also set a schedule so you can go on here and set a schedule for when you want it to turn on when you want it to turn off um, and you can just simply turn it on and off so here I've turned it on and then you can select the different speeds so there's one two three and four and automatic and sleep, the same as there is on the device. Um, but on the app, you also get the option to select pet mode, which um, is really good, especially if you do have pets. I have Cassie the cat, so I think I'm going to be using that option a lot. Um, and then obviously it will tell you on here. So at the moment, the air quality is very good. But if it does drop down, you will also get a notification to say that the air quality has dropped um, in case you then want to obviously turn on the air purifier to get it back to very good. Um, but yeah, I'm not normally one for loving apps, but I'm finding this really easy to use. So it's the next day now and I used the air purifier overnight on sleep mode and literally I could not hear it. Um, when I woke up this morning, I was like, is it even still going? Um, cause obviously all the lights go out on it, but it was. I'm also loving the app because it means I can control it from wherever I am. So I've had it upstairs so far, um, but it means if I'm downstairs, I can check to see what level the air is at. 
Um, so yeah, really enjoying it. But I thought I would just show you because I just quickly whizzed the hoover around and then I sprayed some like um, Febreze air freshener and it actually changed the quality of the air. So I thought I would just show you. So as you can see, compared to the last time I showed you it, the indicator ring here is now orange, which means the air quality is moderate. So it goes bad, moderate, good, very good. And this was blue, very good. And then I sprayed loads of the air freshener in the bedroom, like over the bed in um, and in the room, just to make it smell nice. And literally this changed straight away. Um, so obviously picked it up in the air. Um, so yeah, it's on moderate. So hopefully um, in a minute it will change it back to um, good, then very good. But I thought I would just mention because it just shows how spraying things like that in the room obviously really affect the quality of the air, um, even though they smell really nice. Um, but yeah, really enjoying using this so far. It's so easy to use and I'm loving the app. Um, yeah, it's just really simple. Sometimes when it says like, oh, connect via the app and use it, I just think, oh, I can't be bothered with all that. Like I just use it on the device, but actually, the app is just as easy, if not easier. I literally just go on there, press on off, um, select what setting I want, and you can do pet mode on the app, which you can't do on the actual air purifier itself. I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to use. Um, so yeah, really enjoying it so far. Um, I'm going to use it for a week, and then I will give you like my complete honest review at the end let you know my thoughts on it, anything I kind of don't like about it, things I love about it. Um, yeah, so I hope you are enjoying watching this video. So I have now been using the air purifier for a good few days. So I wanted to jump back on the end of this video and let you know my complete honest review. Like I said at the start, um, I was kindly sent this to review on my channel, but I want to just clarify that obviously all my opinions and views are completely my own. Um, so yeah, I will give you my honest review. So is it worth it? I would say yes. I am absolutely loving using this air purifier. I have looked at air purifiers in the past and I kind of always thought, would it be one of those things that I've got and then used it for a little bit of time and then just kind of stopped remembering to turn it on um, and then it would kind of sit there and collect dust. But actually, since having this, I am really enjoying um, having it going. And I think being a mum of a child that has asthma, I am really liking knowing that the air that he is breathing in in the house is good quality. Um, I love that it is obviously taking out the dust and all different things from the air um, that may affect him. Um, so yeah, that is one plus and I have literally used this every day since I had it and yeah, I don't think I am going to stop using it now. I just really like knowing that the quality of the air is really good. I've used it in all different rooms in the house. I do also have Cassie the cat. Um, so, and she is a indoor British short hair, so she has a litter tray. So having this um, near that makes me feel better as well, knowing that there's kind of nothing coming off of that that's going to affect the air that we're breathing in. Um, so yeah, I'm just really enjoying using it. I love the look of it. I think it's a really nice looking unit. I like the white and the black. I love that it's also not too big. So it doesn't take up much space at all. So it's easy to kind of go into all the different rooms. It's also really light. So it's really easy to move up and down the stairs. It's not like a big, bulky, heavy item. So yeah, really loving the look of it. Um, and also the controls. So you've got the touch panel controls here and they are so easy to use. That's another thing. I'm not like a big technical person. So I like it to be really simple. Um, so the fact that you can literally just turn it on off, you've got the fan speed, the sleep speed um, and the timer. It's just really easy to use. It's all touch screen. Um, so yeah, it's just really quick to pop on. And obviously you can see where it is on the sides. So it sucks 
in air from both sides and then it blows it out of the top. Um, you do have these um, indented bits here. I don't know if these are actually technically handles but I have been using them as handles because it just makes it really easy to carry around um, so yeah loving the look of it loving the appearance um, and it just works so well so what I really like about this is I have actually connected the app again normally I wouldn't bother connecting the app to things or even to the wi-fi but I thought I would give it a go with this because it means if I'm downstairs I can check the air temperature upstairs, turn it on, turn the fan down without having to actually go up. So I downloaded the app to see how easy it was to use. And yeah, it was really simple. So again, a plus from me. So I literally downloaded it. I had to select the, come up with a list of items. So I selected the Vital 100S. I then had to put my Wi-Fi password in and then on the device i just had to hold the power button i think it was for five seconds and that was it it was connected and then just like the control panel here you would have seen actually i think i took some clips when i first went onto the app it's just really easy to use so there's an on off button fan speed all that on there um yeah so i'm really impressed and i have actually been using the app to control it um since downloading it which has surprised me um but yeah if you aren't into using the app like i said you can just use the controls here really easy to do the only control that you don't have on the device which you do have on the app is pet mode um and because obviously i have cassie the cat i have used the pet mode um another feature that i really like is the automatic feature because it means that you can run it as soon as it gets to a good quality of air it kind of then takes the fan speed down, um, obviously to maintain it. So you don't have to go, have it going on full the whole time and you don't have to keep checking it. If you put it on automatic, it will automatically go up or down to the air quality. Um, and actually, I think I took a video of this. I had this going upstairs in the bedroom and it was on very good. Um, and then I sprayed in some Febreze air freshener and straight away the dial on it went down to say that the air quality had gone down and the fan speed then because i had it on automatically automatic went up um obviously to get the air quality in the room back to a good quality um so yeah i'm really impressed with it absolutely love it i don't think there's anything negative i could say about it so far um Actually, the only, th only, I don't even know if it's a negative because you can get them. On the app, it does give you the option when you go on there, it tells you the um, life of your main filter because you have a pre filter which you just take out and you just hoover or you can wash it if you want to. Um, that's really easy to get in and out. You'd have seen me taking it out at the start when we unpackaged it. But the main filter you have to replace, they say, every 9 to 12 months. And on the app, it gives you the option. It tells you the percentage of the life it has left in it. And then underneath, it said, buy filter. Um, and it gave you a whole kind of instructions on how to change the filter. So I thought that was really good. But then when I actually clicked on it, it said that I can't buy the filter on the app in my region. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed by that. But I have since gone on to Amazon and I have found that you can purchase the filters for this on Amazon. I literally just typed in Levoit Vital 100S air filter, um, air purifier filter, um, and they did come up. Um, so that was probably the only downside. But like I said, it's not really a negative because I then found that you could buy them on Amazon. And obviously you could go on to the Levoit website and I'm sure they would be on there too. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm really impressed with this air purifier, you can probably tell. Um, and it's something that I'm going to continue using. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, it's probably a bit different to some of the things that I've shared on my channel. Um, but I was just really interested to try it out. Um, but yeah, it's something that I'm going to continue using. Leo is absolutely loving it. He loves... I think it, I don't know if it's like the novelty for him, but he keeps going to check it and he's like, oh, it's still on blue. 
or he likes to tell me then if it's dropped down. Um, but yeah, like I said, being a mum, knowing that he has asthma, knowing that I'm doing something to check that the air quality is good makes me feel a little bit better. Um, and yeah, so that is going to be the end of this video. I will link the air purifier below in the description box. Um, it will take you to Amazon. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you have an air purifier at home? Have you ever been interested in getting one? And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.